Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 28th to February 3rd, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to once again remind you guys that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces uh, star sign and uh, for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level for every single different uh, Pisces. So in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately at the end uh, you will have to align that general reading with uh, <clears throat> your personal situation so uh, you can kinda like you know have a grasp on it, rather make it more personal uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed through tarot by me, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So that set aside, guys, uh, Pisces, it does look like that uh, this week is going to be... Uh, I would say very dynamic and uh, on top of that it's kind of like it's gonna breed uh, how can I place it a bit of uh, lack of clamor right if uh, just to uh, just to make my points across here guys even though some things are very fortunate that are happening to you you may find it hard to believe uh, that these things are happening for the better because you how can I place it? Let's say that you will trust on your healthy sense of mistrust. For example, uh, if you are approached by a very handsome girl or by a very handsome guy and they show interest in you, you may find it very difficult to believe that that is true. You may think that they play a prank on you or you may think that they just want one time thing and then they, and then they are going to abandon you. That is displayed here by the moon card which is showing that the core of the situation is kind of um, shed into vagueness. It is um, well yeah it, it is insecure in a sense of that uh, you will find it insecure. Well, I don't know how to explain it, but the moon card as the core of the situation here points that everything will be like a dream of yours or all, or, all right. It will develop as a dream of yours and just because develop as a dream of yours, you will find it very um, uh, way too good to be true, right? But the core of the, or rather like the the topic of the week here is the Wheel of Fortune, which points that there will be many opportunities coming in your way. The Wheel of Fortune is about those... Uh, it's not even a fateful event, alright? It is more like a, an openings. Um, it is more like a, a gifts of, uh, of one's fate. It's more like a one-time... Uh, one-time opportunity that comes around and you have to grasp it. Additionally, the Wheel of Fortune, it plays a role of a very busy card. So, uh, just to give you an example of that, and especially if it is, it does affect your career, the Wheel of Fortune there plays a role like an opening to improve circumstances into your project big time, but it's going to involve you working a lot, all right? It's going to be one thing coming after another that you have to deal with and etc. etc. And uh, you basically you will be preoccupied with your activities as these activities are going to be quite a lot. But in a combination with the moon card, all right, uh, you will find it very difficult to predict toward what end those activities are coming around and you may stuck being daydreaming you may stuck being despondent all right or you may stuck being uh, mistrustful if there is such a word so you don't trust that this is going to have a, a positive ending so it's all about personal uh, personal standpoint here it's all about a clamorous belief do you have it 
or are you not or do you not having it in reality all these opportunities coming in your way are for the better signified with the wheel of fortune and also because you may have doubts in them you may not take all of them which is totally totally fine but uh, the accompanied card of the wheel of fortune that is the six of cups and now we can see why you may not have this clamorous beliefs of all these openings that are happening in front of you because the six of cups here in a contribution with the wheel of fortune it does point that these opportunities i will call them opportunities are happening a little bit off the way that you want them to happen right so just to give you an example of that let's say that you are expecting an opportunity to happen in your relationship to uh to improve it but this opportunity happens as like a third party is coming around and it's kind of like trying to make a hit on you all right or uh, you are um, kind of like hoping that you are going to get a promotion into your career, but the opportunity arises as you are getting a, a new job offer, right? So this, these opportunities are going to be something that you are not expecting and that you don't want at that very moment. And that's why you are going to find yourself hesitant to make a move on them. So we, th this is why. <clears throat> And uh, uh, basically that is what the, the Six of Cups here is saying with uh, the uh, Wheel of Fortune. It, say, it is saying that uh, the place that those windows which are opening for you is uh, happening once again. It is not in the field that you are feeling pleasure right now or that you are thinking that is going to give you exhilaration. Just like I mentioned that you may expect promotion, but that could be a, a new job offering. So uh, additionally here, this is what the page of uh, wants is expressing in the uh, challenges which is causing predicaments. I will say a few words right now just so I can make it clearer here. The page points that you will find it difficult to be open for everything new. All right. And it is exactly what you need to do here. So it kind of looks like a leap of faith. All right. And as a matter of fact, having the moon card in a, a core of the situation, it urges you to follow your daydreams. Okay, it urges you to combine your wisdom with, 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 with your imagination as well and just move along and uh, whatever happens, happens. Because in the traditional tarot deck, the moon card is displayed by, you know, a crab and a fish here, uh, kind of trying to embark a path who goes beyond the summit. So you don't know where this is going to lead you. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it is definitely a thing that you need to take on. Even right now, you cannot predict toward what end this opportunity is going to manifest itself. And uh, the King of Wands here with uh, the Moon card as a uh, core of the situation does point twisted reality, all right? Is that, um, how can I place it? The offered opportunity it differentiates from your criteria. It differentiates as well from your goal. It differentiates um, from your expectations either right and uh, it also these cards are pointing that it will involve a, a certain um, shoot uh, shoot in, shooting in the dark as well but uh, <clears throat> once again the king of wands and this specific uh, in this specific interpretation plays a role as a, a very high as a very high standards right and these very high standards as these cards can happen only in this unknown path which is offered to you. So basically, this week you will be offered a, a new path to start walking on, which will lead you toward unknown destination. And what these cards are urging you here, Pisces, is to take on this path. Of course, as this is a general reading, guys, you can completely negate that and you can completely stay on the path that you have chosen until this very moment, waiting for that promotion to happen. And it could happen, who knows? But it may never happen as well. So isn't it better if you take on something fresh? 
because with the Wheel of Fortune here, you will definitely have a room to grow as once you take on that opportunity. And remember, the Wheel of Fortune sometimes uh, kind of like uh, manifest itself as a once in a lifetime opportunity so if you meet a, a new person here that could be the one that you are waiting for that could be the only person that you will be able to make a harmony relationship to its maximum extent all right or if that is a new job offer that could be the job that offers you the growth that you require although you may not know it at the start of this proposal so once again do not be biased and do not play on uh, on sound and secure throughout these cards but rather take the risk because through risk is through risks is how one person makes growth especially if the current circumstances or the current situations that one person is involved in does not offer him anything more than what they are uh, having until this very moment the next card that we do have this is going to be the challenges that are causing predicaments and that is the page of wands with the tower card so this is a revolution that you need to uh, that you need to kind of like provoke in your uh, in your life the tower card is the transformation and this transformation exactly it is what you are going to face a predicament with or to force that transformation to happen that will be the predicament to basically take on everything new that comes in your way and make a change in your life because the tower card is like uh, it's like everything that you have built until this very moment needs to be brought down and then rebuilt back again, but this time around according to your image. And that is kind of fearful, guys, because how, if you have a marriage, you know, how you are to bring down your marriage and to rebuild it back again, you know. If you do have a stable job how or stable career, let's say, how you are to bring down your career and rebuild it back again and again that is a general reading so you may completely negate this uh, this advice because I do realize right now that this is a I am asking from you a lot right to completely give up on the solid patterns and security that you do have right now and just embark on this opportunity that it is offered to you but once again for those who does not have anything substantial in their life right now in this very moment this is going to be huge improvement here all right but they need to be ready to change their life to change their routine to change their habits you know to change their lifestyle as well it could involve as well change of um, places of living also in generally the tower card points that uh, your current positions should be brought down they are not going to be brought down but they should be brought down so you can uh you can basically rebuild them in a wider wider, wider state because uh, what these cards are pointing is that you have built up your situation in a such a way that simply there is no more room to grow I mean, you, you sealed yourself in it, you placed your own boundaries, and in order to, you, you placed your own walls, and in order to, to expand, to broad your, um, your career, to broad your relationship, uh, you have to break those walls. And uh, the term bringing down or, you know, bringing down your career and bringing down your relationship, that is a figurative speech. You don't have to break up with your partner to bring down your relationship, for example. It, this card could be completely rearranging the rules of the game, okay? Until this very moment, your relationship could have been a completely one-sided. For example, your partner was telling you exactly what you should do and how you should do it and etc, etc. So they had complete control over you. But now, throughout this week, a new circumstance, a new a uh, window is opened for you once in a lifetime opportunity to change that all right for example you may find out that you're pregnant which gives you the opportunity to change that and you completely rearrange the rules of the game but you need to be open for the new way of living for the new standard of living for everything new that comes on in your way
And also these cards um, here are urging you Pisces to realize how strong you are in reality. You are way stronger than you think you are, guys. You are way stronger. And uh, kind of like confidence in your personal capabilities is up of most importance here with the Page of Wands and the Tower card to force this positive transformation in your life. And as it is transformation, it will be accompanied with some unpleasant symptoms, all right, despondency here and there and some conflicts as well here and there and so on and so forth. But um, it is better now to provoke those conflicts that somewhere along the way when you already rebuild up the tower of your life. And the last card that we do have, this is the Ace of Wands here with the Nine of Wands. And what these cards are pointing that you can't completely establish the new rules of the game. It's, this is a basically confirmation of the predicaments, the, the, these things which are causing predicaments. The resilience you to transform your life. And the Ace of Wands does represent the new beginning, it does represent the, uh, the new enterprises, it does represent the chaos, all right, or the creative chaos that you can uh, exert into your environment through which you can force conscious changes in your environment, like conscious, conscious, con blah, conscious changes in your career. For example, you can change, uh, I don't know, um, <clears throat> your team that you are working, you know, you can change your performance as well, rearrange your desk, change your schedule and etc, etc, to changing the routine into your relationship either. The Nine of Wands, it, it, it does represent you that and especially if you are single here, these are very positive cards and that is the guidance. As a guidance, it tells you that around you there is a person who wants to be with you. These couple of cards, that is the guidance. Should you make it however that entirely depends on you but in order to see who that person is you need to transform your life first right and then you can take on this once in a lifetime opportunity or once in a lifetime person that you can build up a, a meaningful life with as the moon card it is telling you that you are to embark a path which is gonna lead you to your ultimate destination <clears throat> and so uh, this uh, literally concludes the tarot reading of uh, Pisces, so just to summarize all that, uh, guys, it does look like that this is going to be a week where you are to traverse a, um, how can I place it, uh, you are going to traverse disadvantageable positions into advantageable positions through faithful circumstances, through gifts of the universe. The only thing that could obstruct you to do so is uh, the hesitation of making transformation with your life and as well the fear of the unknown that happens uh, over here, right? So eventually you know, you need to, that, that is what the fresh start involves, right? You make a fresh start and you face the unknown. You have to cope with the unknown. And this is exactly what this reading is talking about, especially with the end card, with the end cards asking you to readopt yourself according to the, uh, to the new enterprise, to the creative chaos, and in generally to the passion that it is given to you throughout this week. So, you can rearrange the rules of your game and uh, you can do so definitely if you are not afraid of what happens next and also you are determined to make conscious change in your life. So that being said Pisces, this was your weekly tarot, and Lenorm uh, tarot reading, excuse me, now I'm going to shuffle the Lenormand cards and they are to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Alright, so the first card, this is going to be the snake. 
and the snake, the snake stands for enemy, it does stand for betrayal as well, but it also stands for clever. Then we do have the whip and the broom, and the broom, the whip and the broom are standing for conflicts, they stand for wrangles, they stand for retribution as well, like vengeance. And then we do have the, the, the bucket, and the bucket stands for benefits, it stands for rewards, and it stands for a, a good fortune. So what we do have here is that you are to uncover some sort of a, uh, um, a, a person who sabotages, right? Person who sabotages, uh, who, who is sabotaging your work, your career, your relationship, and etc., etc. Confronting them, and once you confront them, and once you banish them, then the rewards, or rather like the benefits, uh, of your behalf are going to start flowing once again, which could have something to do with these uh, fateful circumstances. Those fateful circumstances may be the circumstances which are going to unfold this person and through that you're going to find what was that was holding you down until this very moment and what, what were you missing in order to uh, transform your life towards something better and what was obstructing you to take on this new direction uh, in your life. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. And gosh, that was a very, very difficult reading, guys. Uh, especially if you don't have a question to, uh, to connect it with, because uh, really astrology and numerology are very good of giving general readings, but Tarot shines best when you answer questions through it. They're not particularly good for personal readings uh, for not for personal but for general readings excuse me they are very good for personal readings and uh, so that concludes the general reading now it, it, again it's a general one and it's going to resonate in a different level with every single different Pisces if you want your personal situation to be analyzed through tarot just like I did for the few examples uh, in this video then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing Rod signing out now see you next time Bye.